Caitlin, one of the sales managers with the Global Sales Team. As you know, embarking on a cruise is one of the many adventures you can take here in Greater Fort Lauderdale. Port Everglades, like their neighbors at FLL, are working hard to ensure that passengers going aboard or arriving from their cruise enjoy a safe and clean experience. Hi, my name is Jonathan Daniels, and I'm the Chief Executive and Port Director at Port Everglades, the third largest cruise port in the world. With nearly 4 million passengers and coming to the end of what started out as a record year at the port for cruise operations, you can see behind me at Terminal 25 that it's a little bit slower as we work through the issues associated with a global pandemic. Rest assured that we're going to work hand in hand with all parties, federal, state, local authorities, all Broward County officials to ensure that the traveling public will be able to return safely. I'd like to introduce Glenn Wiltshire, Deputy Port Director, who will talk more in depth about the procedures utilized to sanitize, clean, and make sure that your journey is safe. Hello, my name is Glenn Wiltshire. I'm the Deputy Director here at Broward County's Port Everglades Department. Port Everglades is unique in a sense because we're part of a larger organization in Broward County and we work very closely with the Convention and Visitors Bureau as well as the Broward County Aviation Department. A pastor coming to one of our cruise terminals will notice that right from the curb. Uh, the increased distance between people, reminders of principles that we've asked everybody to follow. Uh, when they get to the security checkpoint, they'll see that it's spread out from what they uh, have, might have seen in the past. Uh, with the COVID-19 uh, issues that we're all addressing today, uh, we're enhancing that experience through a dedicated focus program to ensure that a pasture can safely move uh, from the curb uh, through the terminal onto their cruise ship and doing it in a way that is consistent with uh, the new requirements that either come out from the federal government or from the cruise industry themselves. Hi everyone, I'm Lori Bon Assur with Royal Caribbean International. And I'm here today to talk to you about our healthy return to service. You see, at Royal Caribbean, our top priority, of course, are our guests, our crew, and the destinations that we visit. This is why Royal Caribbean Group has appointed a healthy sail panel in public health, bioscience, hospitality, epidemiology, and marine operations to help guide us back to service. This team of experts will work to create protocols to enhance what's already being offered on board our ships currently to guide us as we combat COVID-19. In the meantime, there is something I really want to share with you that will be a part of the protocols as we return to service. And that is our Muster 2.0. You see, our safety information has always been shared with our guests when they come on board our ships. With Muster 2.0, we're able to allow our guests to learn this safety information via their smartphones or in their staterooms on their interactive TVs. And this, we believe, is really going to game change the experience, allowing our guests to have a better engaging experience from the moment they step on board our ships. And speaking of stepping on board the ships, we absolutely cannot wait to welcome our guests back. But in the meantime, we ask that you be safe, be healthy, until we sail again. To your customers and the cruisers, the cruising season is about ready to occur. From import to export to cruise port, we want to be your port at Port Everglades.